animation review for you guys today. I'm sorry I haven't been making any videos at all. I have excuses though. I've been making movies for school. Uh, hockey's finishing up so we have a lot of playoffs right now. There's a lot of stuff. So that's why I've been doing much. But I have a lot to do. Now of course I pushed it all back. So I have a lot of reviews to come. I said the last time. Hopefully I'll be able to pick it up this time and keep doing them. Summer's coming. School will end pretty soon. So hopefully get back to the schedule. By the way, Ross the Monkey winner is Dadas this Dadas Dadas. Alright, so you spell it D A D A S D A D S A S D A. Uh, hopefully you're watching this video. I will contact you personally and I will throw your channel page in right here so you can see how to spell it. Okay, so back to review. I will be reviewing Tube Spoke. It is a um let me zoom in here. It is a YouTube application. It's also called Bespoken YouTube, uh, Bespoke YouTube, but I, it's called Two Spoke uh, when you download it. And I will be, this is kind of a preview, because I have version 1.5, the developer gave it to me. This is 1.4. As you can see, it looks a lot different once we get into the application. There's only three down here, three little bars. So I'll show you that when we can go back to it. So I'll go back over here. These are all my reviews I have to do. These are the last pages. I'll open it. And by the way, I found out my old camera I used on my first like three videos has a macro now. So I, I um, now you know how this is blurry because I don't have any macro. Well, my other camera is perfect except that it makes too loud of noise, so I can't use that now. So I wasted a bunch of money on this camera thinking it'd be better quality, and it's just blurry now. So I don't know what to do. If any of you guys know how to reduce the noise of auto focusing, let me know. Um, because it just sounds like a gorilla on my. It's uh focusing. Alright, so back to this. Here it is when you open up. You have your new vi no videos, I believe. This is your subscriptions. It's not uh, updating for me, though. I don't know if it's because this is not released yet in the application store, but I will ask the developer about that. You have a refresh button up there to refresh. I'm not sure what. I can't refresh anything right now. Or maybe I'll, it's my videos. Sorry, that's my phone. Since I haven't had any. Alright, so I guess this is this new videos on YouTube. It just loaded, so it takes a while to load. Uh, you can refresh it. And you just gotta refresh it on the startup. Here it tells you how many new ones you have. This is 24. Um, these are all my subscriptions, I believe. Looking at the names. Yep. So let's go ahead and view one from Locker Gnome. So here you can see you have comments. You can look at all the comments, and you can add a comment by pressing that button. Comment here, there, and then save. I won't post one right now. I'll go back here. You also have favorites. You can search your library for local favorites, YouTube favorites, or YouTube playlists. You have your author, so you can get more about the author. I am subscribed. You can unsubscribe by tapping that. And here's his last sign-in when he joined, his videos watched, subscribers, and channel views. Go back once more. And you also have related. And, you know, there's a sidebar inside of YouTube right over there, I believe. It says related. That's just all these. And then I skipped. If you go to the author, you can also click user videos. And here are the other videos from him. So there's pretty much everything you're going to do on YouTube right here. And if you have any feature requests, you can just um, request it to the developer, I believe, and he'll try to add it in. So over here, you have all your favorite videos. You can go to your local favorites, your YouTube favorites, um, your playlists, and your YouTube standard feeds, which are top-rated, all that. Um, sorry, someone's calling me. One sec. Okay, sorry about that. Someone is just calling me off the hook. It's ridiculous. They call me like three times. I don't know why they're doing that. But, um, so back to this. This isn't just your favorites. This is also the most viewed, most uh, popular and all that. And down here you can do like most viewed today, most viewed this week, mo most viewed this month, and all time. So let's do all time. And let's go to most viewed. And it's going to be the evolution of dance, I believe. Yep, right up there. So that's the most viewed video of all time. So you can go through this, and you pretty much have every possibility in YouTube right here, uh, as you can see. You also have your subscriptions. 
just list all your subscriptions. I'm not sure if this is all mine. I thought I would subscribe to more. Then you can also add a subscription from tags or user right here. But I won't go into that. So this is all my subscriptions. And you also have search, so I can search YouTube. I will search for iPhone. Yes. And it will probably load from it. And there's all the videos on the iPhone. And then just click there to play. Alright, play the other one. And it's just like your normal YouTube application now. And tap on the screen. Double tap. Every possible, or everything the YouTube application can do. So there's a little video on uh, the iPhone. Credits to CBS News Online. That's who that video goes by. But I'm going to try to not get in as depth with these applications. Um, more of a preview so you guys can go download them if you're interested. I know a lot of people are getting bugged that I was explaining a lot. So I'm going to cut these down in length a little. But um, that's pretty much all the application do. You can pretty much do it. As I said, like three other times, you can do every possibility. Favorites, subscriptions. Um, you can view comments, post comments, which you can't do in any other application that I know of, YouTube application. So if you guys are looking to get subs, which I reviewed before, definitely get this because you can see your subscriptions and a lot more on top of that instead of just your subscriptions. Alright guys, so I'll have a lot more reviews coming soon. I believe my next one might be on the screen over there. My iMac, here's my little setup. Not that you really care. But um, it's night, so I have my little lamp there. That's why the lighting's kind of weird today. But I have a Pixelmator review. It's just like Photoshop. Maybe I'll do tutorials if you guys like it. Um, I'm kind of good at it. I don't really want to judge myself, though. You can see when I have you review that. Um, thanks to the developer for sending me a code. I really do So, I'm just blabbering out a bunch of stuff. So, bye guys.